Welcome to IBC 2024. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries right here in Amsterdam. So Frank, you are the representative of QSpaces from Quest. Why is there a demand for solution as a service right now? Yeah, so first of all, we are super happy. It's a very exciting event here at IBC because what we also present first time now as Quest, we present an offering for solution as a service, which we call QSpaces. And now back to your question. So why are solutions as a service really required? So this goes back to a lot of things, what you see here at the show. And this is big, big, big transformation, which is mainly technology driven. So what happens here is that really amazing technology finally also makes it to the media industry. And that's very much about virtualization. It's about the cloud. It's about things like AI, etc. But look at the industry. And I'm talking about really the traditional media industry. The traditional media industry is very much still legacy driven, has huge legacy lock-ins like broadcast centers, troops of people which are really video engineers and no IT engineers, etc. right? And that's exactly where this clash happens because there is in the media industry also a huge pressure from the top management to transform, to become much more efficient, to to be much faster in innovation, to do all this. And for this, the new technology is needed. But these companies are not ready yet to digest all this internally because they are not prepared. And that's exactly what we ask ourselves. How can we extend our value chain from Quest to help these guys? And the value chain from Quest normally is also about tailor-made design for a solution, then development, and then um, implementation and handover to the customer. This is not enough anymore. And that's exactly where the solution as a service idea comes in, which also means that we don't stop at handing over. We help the customer if the customer needs in order to operate it, so really to make it sure that it works and, it's, and this exactly on a level the customer needs us. The other thing is really about the business model where we are also able to get away from these traditional business models which are very much capex driven and now translate this also into modern subscription like OPEX models. What kind of services can people expect when they choose QSpaces? So this is now a little bit more the menu card what we, what we currently introduce to the market. So um, I explained before this DevOps approach. So DevOps is of course something we can support. Um, we also call ourselves, we are the friendly gap filler in this. So we really want to listen and we want to listen to our customers. We want to do this in a very, very hands-on setup and really understand where the customer really needs us most. So it's not about total outsourcing. It's not about, you know, dear customer, give us all. It's really, how can we help you, right? And DevOps does not only mean that things get, um, get somehow implemented and it stays forever. DevOps means what I mentioned already before, this constant optimization. And optimization has for us three dimensions. The one thing, for sure, the thing needs to work. So therefore, performance is absolutely key. Without performance, forget it, right? The second thing is financial. Also here, lots of things are happening. New technologies are coming up as we speak, and they are more efficient. And therefore, we need to find a way that we always optimize also this. And the third thing is a topic I haven't mentioned so far, another huge pressure on the industry, and this is called ESG. And ESG here for the media industry, the E, so environmental is the most important one. And this is normally called in media simply carbon footprint, right? But carbon footprint is something, this is not a total objective. This is also a constant improvement. So therefore, also now companies need to make sure that they have a roadmap, that they always improve, they always save energy. And that's also, of course, within this DevOps approach where we want to support the customer. That's the one thing. The other thing is if you go back to the good old days of media industry, so really meaning the traditional setup, there was, um, there was you had a handful of vendors and they installed their systems and the thing went very well. Now moving to the cloud, if you had three vendors before, now you have 25 partners in the cloud. Because the, the field of business are much more narrow now, you have specialists for everything, but this means not only operationally, you need to make sure that 25 parties work together, 
but also commercially on an administrative level. You simply get 25 um, flexible invoices per month and you need to check them, you need to, to process them, all this, all this needs to be done, right? And here also QSpaces will become a single face to the customer, which really means um, if there's a problem operationally on the administrative side, ask us, you only get one invoice instead of 25. We really, we combine all this, right? And this comes along with all the, I think, um, uh, very, very, very um, uh, relevant topics like you have your concrete contact person, you have a customer success manager, you have regular review meetings, you have regular, regular also optimization proposals, so nothing stands still. And therefore, um, we could really simply summarize that finally QSpaces could be a step where the customer takes care about his content operations and we take care about the rest. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time, Frank. Have a brilliant show. Thank you very much. Highly appreciate it. Thank you.